Once upon a time, there were two neighbors living next to each other. One was a retired teacher, and the other was an insurance agent who had a lot of interest in technology. Both of them had planted a variety of plants in their gardens. The retired teacher gave a small amount of water to his plants and didn't always give full attention to them. While the other neighbor, interested in technology, gave a lot of water to his plants and looked after them very well. The retired teacher's plants were simple, but they looked good. The insurance agent's plants were much fuller and much greener. One day during the night, there was a heavy storm and a wind due to a minor storm. The next morning, both of the neighbors came out to inspect the damage to their gardens. The neighbor who was an insurance agent saw that his plants came out by the roots and were totally destroyed. But the retired teacher's plants were not damaged at all and they were standing firm. The insurance agent neighbor was surprised to see this, so he went to the retired teacher and asked, We both grew the same plants. I actually looked after my plants better than you did and even gave them more water. Still, my plants came out by the roots while yours didn't. How is that possible? The retired teacher smiled and said, you gave your plants more attention and water. But because of that, they didn't need to work for it by themselves. You made it easy for them. You made it easy for them while well, I gave them only an adequate amount of water and let their roots search for more. And because of that, their roots went deeper and that made their footing stronger. That's why my plants survived. Moral? This story is about parenting, where children are like plants. If everything is given to them, they will not understand the hard work it takes to earn those things. They will not learn to work themselves and respect it. Sometimes it's best to guide them instead of giving. Teach them how to walk, but let them follow their own path. Only a living example brings up a child, not words, even the best, but not supported by any deed. The best school of discipline is family.